The Yenise Russian, Enisej Genise, Mongolian, Enisej Murn Yenise Moron, Buryat, Gorlog Murin Gorlog Murin, Tyvan, Uleg Hem Uleg Hem, Kakas, Kim Sug Kim Sug also Romanized Yenise, Anise, Genisej, is the largest river system flowing to the Arctic Ocean. It is the central of the three great Siberian rivers that flow into the Arctic Ocean the other two being the Ob and the Lena. Rising in Mongolia, it follows a northerly course to the Yenisei Gulf in the Kara Sea, draining a large part of central Siberia, the longest stream following the Yenisei Angara Selanga Eider River system. The maximum depth of the Yenisei is 24 meters 80 feet and the average depth is 14 meters 45 feet. The depth of river outflow is 32 meters 106 feet and inflow is 31 meters 101 feet. Topic. Course of the river The river flows through Tuva, Kakassia and the city of Krasnoyarsk. Its tributaries include the Angara, Nizhnyaya Tunguska, Podkamenea Tunguska and Tuba rivers. Topic. Lake Baikal The 320 km 200 miles, partly navigable upper Angara River feeds into the northern end of Lake Baikal from the Buryat Republic but the largest inflow is from the Selenga which forms a delta on the southeastern side. <laughs> Flora and fauna The Yenisei River Basin excluding Lake Baikal and lakes of the Kantaka River headwaters is home to 55 native fish species, including two endemics, Gobio sibiricus a gobionine cyprinid and Thymalus nigrescens a grayling. The grayling is restricted to Kavsgal Nur and its tributaries. Most fish found in the Yenisei River Basin are relatively widespread Euro-Siberian or Siberian species, such as northern pike Esex lucius, common roach Rutilus rutilus, common dace Luciscus luciscus, Siberian sculpin Cotus picolopus, European perch Perca fluviatilis, and Prussian carp Carasius gabellio. The basin is also home to many salmonids trout, whitefish, char, graylings, taimen and relatives and the Siberian sturgeon Asiponser berry. The Yenisei River Valley is habitat for numerous flora and fauna, with Siberian pine and Siberian larch being notable tree species. In prehistoric times Scots pine, Pinus sylvestris, was abundant in the Yenisei River Valley circa 6000 BC. There are also numerous bird species present in the watershed, including, for example, the hooded crow, Corvus cornix. Topic: <laughs> Tamir reindeer herd. The Tamir reindeer herd, a migrating tundra reindeer, R. T. Sibiricus, the largest reindeer herd in the world, migrated to winter grazing ranges along the Yenisei River. Topic: <laughs> Navigation. River steamers first came to the Yenisei River in 1864 and were brought in from Holland and England across the icy Kara Sea. One was the SS Nikolai. The SS Thames attempted to explore the river, overwintered in 1876, but was damaged in the ice and eventually wrecked in the river. Success came with the steamers Fraser, Express in 1878, and the next year, Moscow hauling supplies in and wheat out. The Dalman reached Yenisisk in 1881. Imperial Russia placed river steamers on the massive river in an attempt to free up communication with land-locked Siberia. One boat was the SS St. Nicholas which took the future Tsar Nicholas II on his voyage to Siberia, and later conveyed Vladimir Lenin to prison. Engineers attempted to place river steamers on regular service on the river during the building of the Trans-Siberian Railway. The boats were needed to bring in the rails, engines and supplies. Captain Joseph Wiggins sailed the Orestes with rail and parted out river steamers in 1893. However, the sea and river route proved very difficult with several ships lost at sea and on the river. Both the Ob and Yenisei mouths feed into very long inlets, several hundred miles in length, which are shallow, ice-bound and prone to high winds and thus treacherous for navigation. After the completion of the railway, river traffic reduced only to local service as the Arctic route and Long River proved much too indirect a route. The first recreation team to navigate the Yenisei's entire length, including its violent upper tributary in Mongolia, was an Australian-Canadian effort completed in September 2001. Ben Kozel, Tim Cope, Colin Angus and Remy Quinter were on this team. 
Both Kozel and Angus wrote books detailing this expedition, and a documentary was produced for National Geographic Television. A canal-inclined plane was built on the river in 1985 at the Krasnoyarsk Dam. History Nomadic tribes such as the Ket people and the U people have lived along the banks of the Yenisei River since ancient times, and this region is the location of the Yeniseian language family. The Ket, numbering about 1,000, are the only survivors today of those who originally lived throughout central southern Siberia near the river banks. Their extinct relatives included the Kots, Asans, Arans, Baikats, and Pumpokals who lived further upriver to the south. The modern Ket lived in the eastern middle areas of the river before being assimilated politically into Russia during the 17th through 19th centuries. Wheat from the Yenisei was sold by Muslims and Uyghurs during inadequate harvests to Bukhara and Soghd during the Tahirid era. Russians first reached the upper Yenisei in 1605, traveling from the Ob River, up the Ket River, portaging and then down the Yenisei as far as the Sim River. During World War II, Nazi Germany and the Japanese Empire agreed to divide Asia along a line that followed the Yenisei River to the border of China, and then along the border of China and the Soviet Union. Pollution Studies have shown that the Yenisei suffers from contamination caused by radioactive discharges from a factory that produced bomb-grade plutonium in the secret city of Krasnoyarsk 26, now known as Zeleznogorsk. Gallery See also Sayano Shushinskaya Hydroelectric Station, Yenisei Krasnoyarsk References External links Yenisei River at Encyclopædia Britannica Photos of river around Krasnoyarsk area at boston.com William Barr, German Paddle Steamers on the Yenisei 1878–84, The Journal of the Hacklet Society, August 2014. Geographic data related to Yenisei River at OpenStreetMap. <laughs>